Welcome to the Borough Youth Edition. Hello and welcome back to the Bury Youth Edition. We have the home game against Norwich in the fifth round of the FA Cup. We are using the first team. Let's get into this game. Here we go, we are in the last 16 of the FA Cup against Norwich. What a test this has been to get this far. The boys have done really, really well. And the, the replays that we've had, I mean, that's just shows character of the team. There's our team. First team lineup. Quite often ignored of defending, of just resolutely sitting in there and seeing what you can get on the break. Let's get into this game. Here we are. Kick off at home. Can the boys do the number without needing a replay? Ball in. Oh, 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 oh. Why am I not allowed to tackle? Come off it. Is that Abel Hernandez? I'm not too sure. What is with that shot? That was dreadful. Their team just really are way off target, just like we are. Oh my, what was that, Leo? We expect better from him. We know what he is capable of. But with wild efforts like that, Krull diving like that, he didn't really need to, did he? To be honest. Give me my right back. A bit late now, isn't it? Here's a chance to attack. It's a good cross. Get it out, Hall. Go on, Katoan. Good interception there. Well, we're halfway through. Half time, nil nil. I'm happy with that result at the minute, but we we need a winner and we need a loser, and I want to be the winner. So here we go, second half. So the second half now. The we need a definitive round, answer to who is going to be a winner. I do not want tempo, another replay. The boys have enough games to go half. through as it is. Now can he take them on? Try to pick out someone in the centre. Easy save. You're control. really trying to header it from there. He might be through. It's up. Vibrant, venomous volley. Wow, the what a goal the by Freese there. What a strike. Come on. What a strike. Sweet ass scissor Here's kick. Again. Jumps up. Their player, it just goes beyond him. And Krull, I have no idea what he's doing there. It's not like the ball was blocked by the defender, but a good goal by Freese. One more minute, whistle goes, get in! No replay in the FA Cup, that's what we want to see. With a goal from our man, number 10, Freese. What a good game that was. Very close, just managing to edge them out. They only had four shots there. That was dreadful. Shots nine. We was just taking pop shots. Oh, what a good result. Ward with a 9-2. Freeze with a 9-1. Hall with an 8-6. That's why Morgan's lost his place because Hall is just doing absolutely amazing there. But good result, good win. In the FA Cup, 1-0 against Norwich. Let's keep this up. How far can we get? 
Here's a look at the other results in round five. Arsenal v Chelsea was a 2-2. Huddersfield v West Brom was a 3-0 win to Huddersfield. Sheffield Wednesday beat Crystal Palace 2-1. Go for them. Uh, Cardiff beat Walsall 3-1. Aston Villa and Spurs were a 2-2 draw. Aston Villa doing really well to get that result. Manchester United versus Newcastle with a 2-1 win to Man U. Everton with a 2-1 win over Wolves. Wow. That is really good. I wonder who we're going to get. You know we're going to get one of the big teams. We'll probably get either Man U, Everton or Spurs. You just know it. Just done a training session and Cox has gone up to 59. Very good to see. I have put Katuan in. I want to get his volleys up and his heading accuracy up if possible. Look at this prize money from the FA. For the FA Cup. We are 409,807 for our progression in the cup. And Victor Fries, thanks for picking him to play that game. Well, you are kind of our best player, Fries. I mean, why am I not going to pick you? <laughs> we are going to simulate this game away against Southend with the first team. Let's see how they get on. Can we get a win? They have had two draws and one win. And we get the win. Katoon with a goal in the 14th minute. Nice result. So here we are with a home game against Peterborough. We have a game in advance over Ipswich. We're on 69 points. They are on 67. Let's see the first team's result against these. Their last three games is a win, a draw and a loss. What do we get? We get a 2-0 win. Katoon and Ward with the goals. Very good result. The boys are really pulling it out the bag this season. Just thought I'd have a look to see if the draw has been done for the FA Cup. Oh, yes, it has. Oh, we've got Cardiff. Of all the hard teams in there, we've got Cardiff. Oh, can we beat Cardiff? I hope we can. Just a bit of uh, fatigue will probably hit the boys at the moment. The stamina is not the greatest, but we're getting there slowly. So where we are with a home game against Colchester, we will simulate this one with four points in front. Colchester's previous results, two losses and a draw. Things would say that the game is in our favour. Green with a goal, and here we go. We get a 3-1 win over Colchester. Mandron gets their goal, and we have goals from Katuan, Hall and Green. Two defenders getting on the score sheet. That's what I like to see. So here's a quick look at the training sessions we've got at the moment. We've got Leo on speed shooting. We need to get him better at putting the ball away in them situations. We've got Wood on speed shooting. Cissé on race against the clock. Get up his agility and his dribbling, the control of the ball and sprint speed. We've got Hall on uh, in trying to improve his short pass and his vision. We've got Katuan, as we said, trying to improve his volley and his head in accuracy. Let's have a look how we get on. Katoon with an A, Hall with a C, Cissé with a D, Wood with a D, and Leo with a B. And just saying Wood with a D, for some reason, just made me smile. We've got a message from Morgan Morgan. He's really not pleased with being stuck here and not being selected for the team. When the transfer window rolls around, he does want to leave. He wants to leave, I will let him. Is he a good player? Yes, he is. But ever since he got injured and he's come back, he's just not been the same player. We have a training injury. Sean Roberts is out for three days. That's not too bad. Three youth scout reports available. Let's have a look. What's Egypt got for us? Rubbish. Rubbish. Uh, we'll continue to scout you. And rubbish. Okay, let's have a look through this one. Holland, come on, bring us the goods. Oh wow, Cedric De Vries, six foot four goalkeeper, seventeen years old. Overall, could be between fifty six and seventy six with a four hundred k evaluation. You're probably looking at about fifty eight to sixty two rating. Overall potential 74 to 94. We will sign him up to the youth team. Danny Vandenbosch. 
you know what, we've all signed you uh, up to the youth team. Van der Meyer, unfortunately you're not good enough, and Jaden Vermeulen. Uh, we will scout you further. Have that one. What Scotland got for us? Arthur Reid, not good enough, and Shane Clark, not good enough. Well, let's have a quick look at the youth system and how the youth academy and the players are getting on. Taha Nasir, up 59 potential, is going down 65 to 85. Walad, Walid, sorry, 49, 75 to 94. Olaf Peterson. Oh, 61. I wasn't far off, look. We will bring Cedric de Vries in. Welcome to the first team. I want George Turner to hurry up and turn 16. Uh, we have Charlie Thomas. Philip Mizu. Danny Vandenbosch. Oh, you're not, not as good as I thought you'd be. Uh, Harrison Phillips. Yeah, you're not as good. Alright, so we got to be, we got to be brutal. 53 overall, just is not good enough now. 59, 59, 56, not good enough. 58. We'll see how he progresses, and we'll go from there. So where is Cedric de Vries? 17 years old keeper we just brought out of the youth system from Netherlands. He's six foot four. Work rates is medium and low. Weak foot, three star skill moves doesn't really matter with a keeper. Reactions 54. Reflexes 67. Diving 65. 59 handling 57. Kicking and positioning is 55. Pretty good young goalkeeper there. I think we've got. We have just tied Sean Roberts down to a new four-year deal on 1,400. Nice to see him wanting a long-term contract with the boys, and he was very happy to get a new offer, which is brilliant. We have also literally just tied down Duda Koulibaly to a new four-year deal. He's 20 years old, 63 overall, but he does really well. I definitely think he deserves that contract. Uh, is on 1,300 wage. Pretty good. I'm mean, really happy with that. So here we are with the Exeter game at home. We are going to simulate this one with the twos. Let's see how they do. Because the match after this is the cup match v Cardiff. And I want to beat them. So bad. Their three previous games is a draw, a win, and a loss. Form would dictate that it's on our side, but these are the twos. Let's see the result. We go down to a 1-0 loss. The twos doing really well. I mean, Exeter City have some really good players. Very physical. So just for them to score the only the one goal is a really good result from my eyes. We have just received a transfer offer for Morgan Morgan from Pechua. Um, I am going to negotiate. Let's see what we can get. I want to get as much money from him as I can. He was a good player, but like I was saying, ever since he come back from that injury, he's just not been the same. If I can get one nine, I'll be impressed. One five. We'll do one six. Come on. Meet me halfway. Yet they're willing to give us 1.6 million for Morgan Morgan. Hopefully that deal goes through. It'll be sad that he goes. It really will. He proved us so many times how good he can be. But it's just since he come back, he's just not been the same. It's really a shame. But hope he agrees turns with them and he can uh, have a blossoming career at Pachua. Unfortunately, Selesnev did reject his loan move to Cork, but Lincoln City have come in now uh, and want to take him on a one-year loan deal. This every team seem to be coming in for him now, which is good. He's a brilliant player. We will accept that. Hopefully, he joins them. So here we are, the game we have all been waiting for. Oh. 
Round six of the FA Cup. Bury are still in it. So we're against Cardiff, Man U v Spurs, Huddersfield v Chelsea. Huddersfield have got a really hard game there. Uh, Sheffield Wednesday against Everton. Very, very tough games. This is going to be a real test. Let's get into this game. Well, so here we go, everyone. Away to Cardiff at the Cardiff City Stadium in the FA Cup. Can we go far in this competition? That is the thing. We've got this far. Oh, four goals in his last three games for Bobby Reid. Wow, he's going to be really hard to stop. Oh dear. But wish us luck. We're going to need it. Let's get into this game. Here we go. Here is kickoff. Let's get into this game. Show Cardiff why we made it here. Come on, Green. Get in there. Oh, uh, sticking his foot out there, Green. Gives him a corner. Here comes the corner. Oh, ball played over really well for Ward to get to if he can. Yes, he can. Come on, Ward. Come on. Swing one in his turn. Unlucky. Vicari just getting there in time. You expect more from the Bory man there. Hall there, doing brilliant, just diving, sticking his foot out, getting that ball out of the way. Oh dear. Stop Murphy. That was it, that's it. Block there, no cross coming in. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wow. Reed there coming very, very close. Oh, ball flicked over really nicely there. Got a bit of menace to it. Foul, surely ref. Demure well, yeah. with a the foul there. On the Leo. What can we make from this? There, I think so. Another referee on another day. I think the yellow card almost certainly would have come out. Let's go for it. A big Had a crack. Ooh, <laughs> oh, very <laughs> close <laughs> there. From Katuan. I thought I'd just put too much power on it. Fair way out. Look at that. I was just trying to go for the top corner. But their keeper just getting fingers on it. Oh, too easy there for Smith. Is It's basically straight at him. Lund flicking the ball off their player's foot to give us a throw in. Brilliant. I can't ask more from the boys. I don't know what else they can do to impress me. Put in from the wide area. Oh, I eat my words. They've impressed me even more. Cissé making an amazing run. Cardiff, what are you doing? What a goal. It took 41 minutes. It's been 50-50 game either end. The Ball in. Well, See, so makes the runner just just it. swoops it on the outside well, of his foot. Look at that! Just swoops on the outside of his foot. The keeper so close to it. See, say is a happy man. He's got us a goal in the FA Cup. There we go. First goal in the so FA the Cup for See, say. Ball played out to Ward. Gets his cross in. Oh, ho, 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 look at this! The Bowie boys are on fire. I was just about to say, let's just work, wind the time down, get the half time, and we get, we do this. Ward swings one in. Freeze. 
between the keeper's legs. Well, it's a goal worth replaying Let's look at the goalkeeper's again, third ball. There we go. What a good goal. 2-0 well, up. Oh, the team are on fire. Offside, unlucky. We'll bring Torres on for Lund. A bit more of attacking threat as well. We do not want to stop attacking them as much as we can. Let's bring on the so-called future star. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. Oh, good stop Very there by Gibbs. Nice back. safe hands. That stop, nobody expected him to be able to do it. Incredible. Chase them down, boys. Looking for teammates in the middle. Credit to them. They're still oh, oh Cardiff, <laughs> very close there. Freeze is injured again. Really? No. Injury to Freeze. Making this change here. Substitution will take place. Well, he's done his bit. He got the goal that put his team in the lead. Can they hold that lead? Hopefully this injury isn't too serious. Defender, but not the player trying to cross it. Still 20 minutes to go. Come on, Ward. You're losing your legs. But get there. Swing one in. Oh! <laughs> Kula Bali almost made an immediate impact off the bench. This is why we gave him a new four-year deal. Look at that. Chasing down Green. Good header out by Hall. A good block there by Roberts as well. We'll bring Morgan on for Hall. Just to keep him quiet because Hall's getting tired. Oh, look at that. What a game the boys had. We had 10 shots, 3 on target. 55% possession, 2 corners, 2 tackles. 79% pass accuracy, 30% shot accuracy. They had 8 shots, 3 on target, possession 45. Uh, 1 tackle, 1 foul, 3 corners. 37% shot accuracy, 77% on their pass accuracy. It was pretty much a very, very even game between both clubs. I mean, every single player on that pitch, you know, played really, really well. Freeze with an 8-5 had to come off due to that injury. Ward with a 9-2. The defence just stood in really, really well. Midfield, Cissé and Lund doing amazing. Leo taking pop shots, causing them all kinds of trouble. Just a brilliant result. And we progress in the FA Cup. This is a dream for Bury. We beat them 2-0. Let's keep this dream alive. So here's a look at the matches that was played so far. We beat Cardiff 2-0. We blew them out of the park. Being able to finish our chances. Pretty even game though. Could have gone either way. Uh, Spurs v Manu. 2-1 to Spurs. Just waiting on the Huddersfield Chelsea. And Sheffield Wednesday and Everton. Come on. Here we go with the emails. We have another loan offer from Osnabrück. For Selesnev. We will accept it. Hopefully he goes out on loan. Uh, he previously rejected those two. Morgan has been sold. We sold him for 1.6 million to Pachua. We will be getting 1.1 million in the transfer budget as soon as the window opens. For our progression in the FA Cup, the dream of runs in this cup, we have got an extra prize money of 819,614. Absolutely amazing. Oh, Freese wants to play in the next match. Hopefully you're not injured like it said you was. 
Okay, please note the following players will be leaving on international duty and will not be available for the club from the 22nd of March to the 28th of March. Oh, wow. Duo Leo has been called up for Finland and Joseph Gibbs has been called up for the United States. Gibbs definitely deserved that call up. He has been brilliant and Leo, I mean, as well. They have both been phenomenal for Bury. Well, that's it for this episode. What an episode it was. We beat Norwich 1-0. We got a 1-0 win against Southend. We got a 2-0 win against Peterborough. A 3-1 win against Colchester. We got our loss to Exeter 1-0. We beat Cardiff in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup 2-0. Next... We face Bolton Wanderers away for the first game of the, the next episode. We also face Doncaster away, Walsall away, Fleetwood Town away, and Birmingham at home. Birmingham and Bolton, I can see being really, really tough tests. These two, they're going to be real hard games. And also in the next episode, we will see who we've been drawn against in the FA Cup next round I cannot wait I hope you can't either well, and on that note don't forget to like and subscribe I think I deserve a like and subscribe the team deserve a like and subscribe for how well they are doing so hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button for me and I'll see you all in the next episode. See you later.